Good day, learners of Davao de Oro. How are you feeling today? Are you all ready for another learning episode in science? Today, we will be learning Science 3. I am Teacher Cheryl Flores Sakai from Laak Central Elementary School SPED Center, Laak South District. Today, we are going to learn about human sense organs. We are going to describe the parts and functions of the sense organs of the human body. But first, kindly get your science three module, pen, and a notebook. And please find your most comfortable place there. Now, let's start our lesson for today. Are you all ready? Good! Open your module on page 2 and let's answer what I know. Fill in the table by identifying the characteristic of each object and the sense organ used. Do this in your notebook. The first object is salt. The characteristic of the salt is salty, and the sense organ used is tongue. Now, can you do it yourself? Answer the five remaining objects. I will give you time to do it. Are you done? Let's answer. The first object is trash bin. What is its characteristic? Correct! The trash bin has a bad odor. And the sense organ you will use is nose. The second picture is a cake. So what is your answer? Very good! The cake is sweet. And the sense organ used is tongue. The third object is an ice. Its characteristic is cold. And the sense organ used is skin. Are you correct? Yay! Very good. The fourth picture is a rainbow. What is its characteristic and the sense organ used? Yes, that's right, kids. The rainbow is colorful and we use our eyes to see it. The last picture is a drum. What is your answer? Correct! The drum has a loud characteristic and the sense organ used are ears. Are you all correct? Yay! Excellent! We have five sense organs, and each of these five sense organs has different functions. These are the following. One, eyes. Our eye is used for seeing. We see with our eyes. Two, ears. Our ears are used for hearing. We hear with our ears. Three, nose. Our nose is used for smelling. We smell with our nose. Four, tongue. Our tongue is used for tasting. We taste with our tongue. Five, skin. 
our skin is used for touching and feeling. We touch and feel with our skin. Again, our five sense organs are eyes for seeing, nose for smelling, ears for hearing, tongue for tasting, and skin for touching or feeling. Now, name the five sense organs and their functions. Good job, kids! Now, let's answer what's new on page 7. Analyze the pictures. Choose the correct function of each sense organ. Do this in your notebook. I will give you time to answer. Are you done, kids? Now, let's check your answers. For number one, what is your answer? Correct! The answer is smelling. Number two, the correct answer is seeing. Number three, the answer is feeling. And the answer for number four is tasting. And number five is hearing. Did you get the five correct answers? Yay! Excellent! Now, you have learned that our sense organs are important parts of the human body and each sense organ does specific functions to help us better understand our surroundings. So, we must take special care of them. One must practice healthy habits to keep them free from diseases by keeping them clean at all times and by eating balanced diet daily. Now, how can we take good care of our senses? For our eyes, we should not read in dim light or watch television in a close distance. We should wear sunglasses during sunny days. We take care of our ears by cleaning them regularly. We should be careful not to prick them with any objects. We must take a bath and clean our hands to protect our skin. We also brush our teeth and clean our tongue after eating. And we have to clean our nose using clean and smooth object. So kids, remember all those habits to keep our senses good and healthy. Open your module on page 13. Let's answer it. Draw a happy face if the statement shows proper way of carrying the sense organs and the sad face if it is not. Do this in your notebook. Let's start. Number one. Wash the eyes with clean and fresh water every day. Number two, clean the nose with sharp and pointed objects. Number three, avoid direct sunlight on the skin. Number four, clean your tongue regularly with a smooth cleaner. 
five. Listen to a loud music for a long period of time. Now let's check. Number one, wash the eyes with clean and fresh water every day. The correct answer is happy face. Number two, clean the nose with sharp and pointed objects. The correct answer is sad face. Three, avoid direct sunlight on the skin. The answer is happy face. Four, clean your tongue regularly with a smooth cleaner. The correct answer is happy face. Number five, listen to loud music for a long period of time. The right answer is sad face. Are all your answers correct? Good job, kids! Now let's wrap up all the things we learned today. We learned that we have five sense organs, namely eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. We use our eyes to see objects around us. We can tell the size, the color, and shape of things. We use our ears to hear sounds around us. We can tell whether the sound is loud or soft. We use our nose to smell odor. We can tell if it is bad or a good odor. We use our tongue to taste food. We can tell if the food is sweet, sour, bitter, and salty. We use our skin to feel and touch. We can say whether it is hot or cold. It is important to know how to protect our sense organs. We must practice healthy habits to keep them free from diseases by keeping them clean at all times and by eating nutritious food. Now, it's assessment time. Turn to page 18. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Do not write anything on the module. Analyze each item carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Do this in your paper. Number one, Bong, a grade three pupil, was having a hard time identifying colors. What sense organ will you use to help him? A, eyes, B, nose, C, skin, D, tongue. Number two, we use this sense organ to compare the smell of flowers in the garden. What is the sense organ called? A, eyes, B, nose, C, skin, D, tongue. Number three, what sense organ helps you taste food 
and identify whether it is sweet, sour, salty, or bitter. A. Eyes B. Nose C. Skin D. Tongue Anna is listening to music while eating her breakfast. What sense organs is she using? A. Ears and eyes B. Ears and tongue C. Tongue and nose D. None of the above. Number five. You will feel hotness when you are exposed under the heat of the sun for an hour. What helps you feel it? A. Ears B. Eyes C. Nose D. Skin Are you done, kids? Please keep your answer sheet with you. Submit it to your teacher together with your module on the scheduled date for retrieval of modules. We are about to finish our lesson, kids. And for the additional activities, you can find it on page 20 of your module. Read the direction carefully. Happy watching everyone and have fun and exciting learning activities to make. This is your teacher Cheryl Flores Sakai from Laak Central Elementary School SPED Center, Laak South District saying, Mabuhay tayong lahat! Always remember, Dito sa TV Skwela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama! Bye-bye!